All right, guys, welcome. My name is Ben. I've been running this channel here called The Unqualified Reviewer. I've been doing some product reviews, and recently I've been wanting to switch that up a little bit, so we're still going to stick to the, uh, the review layout a little bit, but we're going to try to learn something new. So I've been thinking a lot lately about keyboard layouts and how keyboards work and you know, getting into mechanical keyboards a little bit more. So I thought it'd be a neat uh, exercise uh, project here to try to learn the Hallmack keyboard layout. Um, so I know you're all familiar with QWERTY. It's the standard keyboard that we all use to type on. It comes on every computer and has forever. Uh, QWERTY was developed with the typewriter. So the reason it's round and, and it looks like this is that on the typewriter, you had the bars that came up and smacked the page. If two bars were close together and you hit them both at the same time, they could get stuck up there and jam your typewriter up. So they put keys that were used frequently apart from each other so that if they were more, you know, they're farther apart on the key on the typewriter, they would have less of a chance to hit each other if they were both pressed at the same time. Uh, that's translated over to the keyboard we use today. Uh, the stagger here, you know, each column has a stagger, is because you had the bars coming out from each letter and they needed to be able to get back to the mechanisms of the typewriter and that's why we have a staggered layout. Uh, so a couple things I've been looking at um, is going with a grid style. You know, uh, it's called an ortholinear keyboard here where these are all straight instead of staggered. Um, there's no reason we can't do that. It's not a, we're not using a typewriter anymore. And I've been looking at some ergonomic keyboards as well. So this is half of a dactyl manuform. Uh, one half sits here, one half sits here. You got a bunch more functions with your thumb instead of just hitting the space bar. So I 3D printed this. I'm gonna put a, put a bunch of keys in it, print another half and give it a test. Um, the, uh, the end result of that dactyl is going to look like this. So it looks goofy. Apparently it's more efficient. We're going to review that one as well and see what the hell it looks like and how it feels, how it runs. It's going to take a while to learn that as well. But for now, I'm interested in this Hallmack layout. So this was developed in, I believe, 2016 by a guy, na guy named Nikolai Nemshalov, and I'm sure I'm messing that up. But what he did is he took what he calls uh, evolutionary AI and he fed in some text, you know, a book, whatever it was, to an AI. Uh, and that AI tried to use a keyboard to lay out the text as efficiently as possible uh, so that it would, it would uh, improve the movement per finger. It would limit your fingers more to the home row as much as possible and, and overall make typing as efficient as possible. So from everything I can read and tell, this doesn't make you a faster typer, but it makes uh, the stress in your hands, wrists, et cetera, uh, less. I'm not really interested in all that. I just want to see how hard is it to learn a new layout. So I've been typing since, I don't know, middle school. So a good 20 years probably. And uh, I can type about 70 words a minute. So what we're going to do is try to learn this. There's a, a program called TypeFu uh, that's a good training for this. And I want to see how long it's going to take me to get back up to, we're going to say 70 words a minute mark that I can do uh, on QWERTY. I don't think I'm going to try any of these other ones out. So Dvorak was invented in the 1930s. Uh, I forget the guy's last uh, first name. His last name was Dvorak. Uh, then there's Colmack, Workman, and Hallmack. Colmack and Workman are recent as well. And uh, Hallmack here claims to be 134% more efficient than QWERTY. So because this is the newest and most efficient one, as they say here, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, it's not installed on my computer yet. This here lets you get it for Mac and uh, Linux. There is a, if you, if you just search Hallmack for Windows, there's a file for that. Um, and there's instructions on how to get it installed on your computer. For now, I don't need to because I'm going to use this TypeFu program. Um, I do need to download the TFL file here. So what I'll do, when you hit download from their site, and I've just searched Hallmack, it brought up his GitHub. It just brings this up. So if I hit and copy all this stuff, I'm going to make a new, let's shrink this down a bit. I'll make a new... Uh, text file here, text file, there we go, and we're going to name it, uh, I think it was just called, let's see, yeah, we're not going to name it yet, we're going to go in here, paste all of that, and save, and then we're going to rename it, how Mac, and then we're going to delete this txt, and name it T tfl. That's what I want. Okay, so we've done that now. We can go into TypeView. Let me go there. 
Uh, and I've reached out to uh, the, the gentleman that developed type here, Jaris, Jarislaw Foxa. I'm sure I'm fucking that one up too. I'm sorry. Um, and he, you could buy this program for five bucks. He had it somewhere, you know, in the Windows or Chrome store, but it's no longer available here. Um, he is working on an upgrade and he's about to release it for free. So we should have it out here at the end of, uh, end of February, I think he told me. For now, this online demo works really, really well. So if I go here and I say random, and I tell him that I want to use a keyboard, and I can import from file from my desktop and Hallmac TFL. And he's got it right here. So this is the Hallmac layout. So this program is really nice. Essentially shows me on my screen. So I'm gonna keep this keyboard as QWERTY. This is gonna stay like this the whole time. My F and J still have the nubs uh, for the home row. And all this does is I start at level zero and it's just the two, you know, right now what is F and J is now T and A. So I say T, A, A, T, T, space, T, T, T. Oh. I ran through this once for about five minutes a couple days ago. Um, so T's and A's, that's all you're doing. You're gonna work your way up. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna hit next. And it's a bunch of these. So you can just keep working on TA. Then you can go here to level one, which is gonna introduce you to T, A, N, and E. Uh, sorry, T, A, yeah, T, A, N, and E. So I hit, okay. So T, E, N, A, Oh, and T, T, no. So this is supposed to increase like fluidity in typing. So a lot of the words that this is built as is you got consonants on the left, you got uh, vowels on the right for the most part. So you're switching hands much more often. Um, and like net here is going to be N-E-T or eat is E-A-T. So I just went, uh, went, you know, E-A-T. So it just, my, I, I, from right to left, I kind of waved across the keyboard and I, and I wrote that E-E-N-A-A, E-T-E-N-A, T-T-A-E-E-T-N-E, oh. So what I'm doing here is trying not to look at the keyboard. You know, once I know that N T A E are there, I'm trying to type by touch and and just look at what I'm reading up on the, on this part here. Look at that while I type. I don't want to be referencing this the whole time. Uh, I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but you know, 15 years ago when I was taught how to type, we were told never to look at the keyboard. Look at what you're copying down from, and uh, that's how you'll learn to touch type. So I'm gonna keep doing this. Uh, I'm gonna speed through a little bit of this uh, on the video. And then every day, every couple of days, I'm going to do an hour or so of this and try to learn the Hallmack, Hallmack layout. All right, I'm about to do 30 minutes of practice. Take me back to ninth grade keyboarding and careers. So I'm just going to listen to some music, practice this up, and then uh, fast forward it through it for you guys, and we'll see how I improve. Go back to level zero here. Looking at your keyboard is not very helpful. Jeez. Muscle memory is a hell of a drug.
Well, <laughs> I guess I am not downloading it yet, or uh, doing the 30 minutes yet. So, I'm going to reach out to Josh Law here. I already emailed him once. Uh, I'm trying to get a copy of this. So, he is working on updating it. Uh, I'd like to buy it from him. I mean, I think he's giving it out for free, uh, but but it's going to be beneficial. So, I'll even give throw him some cash here just to... Uh, Get this going. I'm pretty excited for this. So, demo time has ended. Damn. Well, it's Friday night. There's beer in the fridge. I will be back next weekend, uh, hopefully with a new video, with uh, some more time into this. I'd like to put a couple more hours into this and uh, see how <laughs> see how good I am. This in an I am conversation, you'll be able to talk as type as fast as you can talk, even faster. All right. Well, keep tuned. Uh, if you want to have any questions or want to learn more about it, let me know. I'll put some links to the videos I've been watching to research this in the video description. Uh, and I look forward to making the rest of the video. Let's see how this goes.